Hello, everybody, and welcome to week three of the Liquid Pasture Community League. I am your host, Le Loop, and joining me again for this cast is a teammate of mine, Jihad. How you doing, man? I'm doing well. I enjoyed that first game a lot. Hoping the second game will be just as good. Yep, we are into game two of Crunchy Pirates versus Ice Cubed, and we are last game, I believe. Oh gosh, last game, Crunchy or Ice Cubed. Ran a very interesting three semi carry strat with dual roamers, and they pulled it off pretty well, I have to say. Their weaver got really farmed, and he was just basically able to split push and win the game for him, even against a pretty well farmed Phantom Lancer. He was certainly a force to be reckoned with from pretty much the word go. Yep. So, anyway, right now we're going to see right into it, and we have a Bat Rider, Keeper of the Light, both banned out. I, I'm not going to lie, I would not be surprised to see a silencer banned out. I know he gave them a lot of troubles. Mm -hmm. He sure did. So we'll we'll see if how that ends up going. I'm, he was actually picked up in the second phase. He didn't get banned or picked in the first phase at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he was the fourth pick last game. Mm. Yeah, but instead we see a Nyx and a Magnus and a Bat Rider and a Keeper of the Light band. So same bands as last time, if I'm not mistaken. And same first pick as well. Yep, Darkseer However, first pick. from the opposite team. Uh-huh. So, I mean, they have the Darkseer picked up for their side this time. We'll see if we'll see if uh, Crunchy Pirates wants to run the same strategy. Oh, really? A Shadow Demon from them? I'm curious to see if they're just going to run the same strategy, a similar strategy to what Ice Cube ran the last time. Ten seconds I wonder if they're going to want to combo that Shadow Demon up with... Uh, you know, obviously the standard would be the Lashrak with the Slit Earth or mm. like a Lena with the thing. You know, I would uh, like to see him comboed with a carry who does really well with illusions, such as a Drow Ranger or an Anti Mage or mm. another Phantom Lancer to, you know, get that army started. Mm -hmm. um, so that they're playing for late game, not just that gank potential early game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I th I'm trying to remember last week. Last week I casted Cun Crunchy Pirates versus uh, Young Money Jeezy, another team in the league. And I'm not trying to remember who ran the Shadow Demon and Lena combo. I'm pretty sure it was Crunchy Pirates, but I'm not entirely positive. But we, I saw it last week, and it worked out really effectively for them. I think Shadow Demon Lena is actually a very, very strong strong one as well. And, it, and they pick up the Silencer, actually, second pick. Nice. They didn't want to give them a chance to ban it in the third, you know what I mean, in the second round of bans. Mm. Yep. And so I, I imagine... It's probably a mid silencer. I mean, I think he he w he does pretty well mid against most anybody. I would it's, guess that. It's gonna and be the uh, the radiant team picking up a Luna. That's gonna help them deal with any illusions that the shadow demon may or may not make. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, and they get a Luna and a Beastmaster, which is interesting because it's kind of I, I it's a little high up for Beastmaster in my opinion. I they agree. might have been able to hold off on it a little bit, pick up a dun another support. But it so far seems like the, it's going to be a mid beast master. I feel like it's either going to be a mid beast master or a mid dark seer. But and I think dark seer has, is going to have more problems against silencer than beast hmm, beast master would. It should be interesting though. I think beast master is a really good pickup because if you can, I mean, if you level up Call of the Wild, obviously it's just twenty five mana, and you basically take nothing from Curse of the Silent. Granted, you're going to have last word. He's going to have last word still, but. You can kind of, you can still kind of do a lot with Beastmaster against the Silencer, it, it, and you're gonna have Roar in order when you want to go gank him, which I think that's one thing that a lot of people need to realize is that Silencer is really gankable in lane. He shouldn't, I mean, he's basically an OD. The way I described him is he's a more versatile OD. He has a really strong, like he has a really strong game, up to a certain point until BKBs come out. After BKBs come out, he has a lot more problems. Granted, he still does have things like the Global Silence, which go through BKB, but I still feel like he's going to have a lot of issues against Luna when she, if she goes for the Phase Drums BKB build. Or not the Phase Drum, the Tranquil's Drums, Ring of Aquila, and then goes into BKB. Mm -hmm. That's a really interesting Bounty Hunter third pick. I don't think I've really seen a Bounty Hunter pick that early. Not for a while. I mean, Bounty Hunter's kind of fallen off as teams have realized, as teams get more coordinated and realize how to deal with them. I mean, he, it's, he's a lot easier to force out of a lane than, he, <clears throat> than before. It, you, you just you have a hard time getting experience with him now, if, as long as your supports are competent enough. But you can see they're banning out a lot of strong supports that would be able they to are. kill him. 
So, I mean, they ban out of the Shrek and a Rubik, which are two supports that do really well at shutting down a bounty hunter. I feel like Rubik's probably one of the better ones. Absolutely. Just with the with telekinesis, he's able to pick them up and basically just throw them around, li put them where he wants them. They also ban the Tinker, so they don't want to give Tinker a chance mid against the Silencer. Oh uh, no, uh, they uh, yeah, they're not going to utilize Tinker mid against Silencer, but I I don't think they need. I think that was a wasted ban as oh, far as yeah, the Radiant yeah. side. I think Silencer is almost definitely going to be their mid. You're not going to go hard carry Silencer. He just, he's not going to be as much damage. If you were going to go for that, you're better off picking the OD, in my opinion. Just because of how much more damage you get out of the OD. And how much earlier that comes out. Oh, interesting. A Vengeful Spirit pickup. So we're going to see a little bit of aura stacking, in fact. As for, from Luna and Venge. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Vengeful uh, Spirit obviously gives you the opportunity to swap heroes, too, so that's going to help. Mm hmm. Um, and that's going to from that disruption. Yep, and that's going to put the silencer in a lot of danger. I mean, eventual spirit swap at level six is just going to put him right into the middle of the enemy, and he's just going to melt if they're coordinated. Although I do like this. If you take a look at their li their lineup, they have Luna right here with the lunar blessing, Beastmaster with the attack speed aura, and then vengeful spirit with the vengeance aura. And they're getting a Shen who's going to be able to pretty much pull up any aura, any auras as well. So they're really aura stacking as w in this game. I like it. But uh, interesting though, they picked up the Chen after the Life Stealer. So it's a little hard to say <laughs> what's. Axe last pick. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. So this is going to be really interesting. I mean, uh, I'm not really Definitely. sure exactly what we're going to see, and we should see a pause out of here. Somebody. I would have expected a, uh, a ranged support instead of an axe. But at the same time, they've already got Silencer and a Disruptor. Yeah, I mean, they have Silencer and the Shadow Demon. So, I mean, um, the axe pick of Blast is interesting. I mean, I guess it's got to be a support or a jungle axe. Yeah. I'm still not exactly sure how they're going to lane this. It's going to be Bounty... I guess it's Bounty Hunter offlane, axe in the jungle, Shadow Demon with the life stealer in the safe lane and then silence or mid and then it's probably going to be going up against uh off lane dark seer beastmaster mid chen in the jungle and then vengeful spirit and sh and luna on the bot lane sounds right to me yep anyway might as well do the player introductions right now we have on the radiant side we have snowman on the vengeful spirit boopsies on the chen happy mukau on the beastmaster Frost on the Luna, and Aisha on the Dark Seer. Over here on the Dire, we got Orc in Space playing the Life Stealer, Mr. Wiggles on the Silencer, Cosmos playing the Bounty Hunter, and Toad on the Shadow Demon, as well as Aaron bringing up the rear with Axe. Yep, and interestingly enough, Axe is heading mid. Yeah, he is, like, right off the bat, too. So I'm not sure if we're going to see mid-Axe, or if we're going to see... if we're going to see something else... Maybe we're going to see a support silencer up top. A silencer does have the sentry wards and some tangos only. So it's so yeah, I think we're going to see a mid axe a silencer up on top as support and then um <clears throat> with the shadow demon and life stealer. And that's really interesting. That is interesting. Um I guess they want the axe co uh, versus the beastmaster combo. Mm. Axe will be able to do well against the beastmaster or the counter helix. On any damage that he takes, it's just going. <laughs> it is chopping time, yes. <laughs> but he is going to be able to basically tank any damage up that he needs. Beastmaster has used his ability. I'm not sure where. I'm not sure exactly where Beastmaster used his ability, but. Huh, interesting. Oh, he. Oh, this is cute. You see this right here? If we. Mm -hmm. They've got a little bit of uh they're going to be trying to do some mid pulling. I and I have to assume that's because of the, they think the silencer is going to be there. This is going to be interesting with Axe. They're going to be mid pulling against the guy who can really dive this and punish it pretty hard. So mm -hmm. I'm curious to see how this is going to work out. I don't know, good luck to them. <laughs> yeah, I mean mid pulling to me is one of the hardest things that you can do. I, it just is so hard to make it effective. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious to see what we're going to see. 
This should be actually pr relatively even up in mid with the Axe and the Beastmaster. Oh, and they're already going on the Darkseer. Darkseer doesn't have a point in the Surge. Oh, that's rough. You and he's going to he's going to be first blood. blood. Yeah, yeah Life Stealer gets first blood. Mm. That's that's a rough start for everyone involved. Um I mean, Luna's going to have a good time bottom, but I don't know if she's going to have that good of a time, you know what I mean? Mm. And I'm kind of surprised that they haven't dropped the lane sentry ward just to keep an eye on Bounty Hunter. Mm -hmm. They have it too. Vengeful Spirit has them in her inventory. Yeah, I mean, she dropped one back here in order to keep an eye on this area around mm -hmm. here. But you I don't. Think maybe really... they're going to wait for the Chen to come over for a gank. Mm. Yeah, and that would make the most sense. Chen. Chen does have an army of skeletons, and he did get a troll first creep, so they do have the ability to. That's Yeah, that's a perfect first gank. <clears throat> I mean that they do have enough damage with the, between Lumin, Lucent Beam and the Magic Missile. I mean, 100 damage, 75 oh, yeah. damage. With Lunar Blessing helping Vengeful Spirit. Oh, on the right and course. this could be a kill. Lunar Beam right on him, and he's gonna die. Yeah. Vengeful Spirit gets the kill. Bounty Hunt. Oh, oh just, Bounty I kiss. was wondering where the cloak was. <laughs> well, <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. You always feel bad about that. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I yeah. have nothing else to say about that. Yeah. Oh, well, he's back. Oh, this is the guy who was playing Darkseer last game. Yeah, he, he's been having some issues with the with disconnecting, which is fine. I mean, it's an understandable thing. Yeah, of course. It's, it's an issue that people have, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. There's not a whole lot you could do about it. Anyway, checking out last hits right now. Luna's sitting up on top with nine. Life Stealer's got seven, but Life Stealer did get first blood, so he is sitting a bit higher on the net worth scale. Mm -hmm. He's got eight right now, so that's doing really well for him. In mid, Beastmaster's really doing out hit, out last hitting chan or axe, but I mean that has to do with mid pooling. I have to imagine. I, I haven't really checked it out. I did see a failed mid pool. Oh no, he got one creep out of it. Oh yeah, he sure did. Yep. I wonder if Lifesteal is going to be going for that quick hand of minus. Mm. I mean, he did have first blood he, gold, so yeah, it could sure be a possibility. I'm pretty sure that he played their hard carry last game as well. Mm. Yeah, I think he, he was the Phantom Lancer, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is exactly. possible. He got the, the, uh, the hand of minus last game. That's what I was thinking. Yep. And that hand of minus actually did work out pretty well for him. Base, he had he had up all his items that he needed before the fights really started coming. I think I still think the diffusal blade first would have or after the vitality booster would have been better. I'm still going to maintain that one, but it is not it was not a bad idea to go hand to Midas. Interestingly enough, it seems like Silencer is going to be playing their four position, <clears throat> and Darkseer is going to come in to try to steal the camp. But he d he's not really going to get a whole lot. And he's got to be careful because he still is only level one. He still doesn't have anything into Surge. If they were to react to this, he'd, he'd be oh, in a lot of trouble. And he's not really even that close to level 2 either. He's still 100 experience off. Mm. That's an entire wave. And here they go. They're going for him. Yep. Well, kind of, They're just kind of harassing him. Yeah, they yeah. just want to get him away right now. Yeah. Take a look at Chen. Oh. got that tornado helping out back there. <laughs> yeah, and that's going to be a problem for Axe. Axe is just going to take harassment from that tornado. And if he gets a test of faith on him, he could be dead. Yeah, yeah and there it is. Oh, test of faith and kills him. Test of faith off BMA, or BM coming in with the haste double damage. I think he's going to die no matter what. Hmm. And Ten is going to use the Wildkin here to tank the tower. And they're going to put a lot of damage. This is already down to health, half health. Uh, with the siege creep, I think they well no, with Axe coming in he's gonna be able to save it. Just fine. Yeah. And he could just Yep. This is actually really well played by the Beastmaster. He's pretty much negating the entirety of battle hunger harassment. Mm -hmm. He's doing a really good job on that one. Bounty Hunter, if we take a look at him, he's got level five already, so he's doing pretty well down bottom. I mean Luna's level five, Vengeful Spirit's level three only. And that life stealer did go hand to minus. He's got the pattern in his inventory right now, and he's going to go pick up his gloves of haste right this very second. Boom, it's done. Yep. He hand to minus the wrong group on that one. I don't. I don't know if he he was doing it before the 
before the uh, what do you call it? Ion shell went down. But obviously, I oh. Did put it on there before the ion shell went down. Um, but either way, good timing on that. I, I would really right like. I would really like to see some levels in the Curse of the Silent from Silencer right now. I think, I think that's really. Uh, <clears throat> I think that was that's a really good harassment against the Dark Seer. Oh yeah. I mean, even if he does have a thirty a thirty mana escape mechanism, it's actually really effective. It's at good just... to force that because next time you go on him, he won't have it. You know what yep. I mean? That's the entire cooldown of that of that ability. He can't be out there trying to get experience. Mm. And right now, he's already two levels behind Bounty Hunter, so any more that you could deny him is just going to be all that more, much more effective. Oh. In case you didn't check out on bottom, Bounty Hunter went <clears throat> just harassing so the Vengeful Spirit. The and... Yeah, that was hot. Yep. I actually the am not... Lane top is really working out for them. Their Lifestealer is getting really big. Yeah, Lifestealer is pretty much getting free farm. I mean, he's only level 6. Luna, or 5. Luna's level 5 as well. But, I mean, he's keeping up in last hits, and that's what you need to do. Oh, and they're going they're going on the Darkseer. And he... He's got last word on him, Ooh, so he's going to... really deep in, and he gets troll-rooted, and he dies. Oh. So another kill on Axe by the, by the Beastmaster and Chen. <laughs> mm -hmm. And but he... It looks like... Is Darkseer going to get away? Oh, the Tranquil Boots don't quite tick in time, and the Silencer does finish him off. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Bounty Hunter's getting really aggressive. Is there a, is I, I have to imagine there? that there's a disconnect because he wasn't doing anything but attacking Venge, Venge at all. We'll have to see. I I don't know. It's a little hard to tell. Hmm. Well, this is gonna be rough because they've got the troll root going down, and he's gonna be able to Ursa stomp right on top of him, and I think he's gonna die. Yeah, and Ursa clap and magic missile. He he's basically yeah, yeah a test of faith. He was getting a little, uh, little aggressive. Mm -hmm. He just overextended a bit there. It, it happens. Mm. Life Sealer's got his hand of minus coming up, and he's going to get his second charge off in six minutes and thirty seconds. So he's just sitting pretty. Oh wow! Yep, there it is. <clears throat> he's got a thousand gold in the bank. I mean, he's doing really well. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be well, well out farming this Luna, even though the Luna already does have up the Magic Wand and the Ring of Aquila and their Tranquil Boots. Lifestealer, when it comes to that mid-game, he's going to be a lot more farmed. Oh yeah, he's going to be doing fantastic. Now, now now the thing this bottom tower with the Chin army. Oh, and Axe got the Beastmaster with a little bit of help from the Bounty Hunter, I see. And I, I, that has to be a track kill as well, because Bounty Hunter is level 6 and he... He was level yeah, 6 before it, so he did get the track off, I have to imagine. I'm sure it was a track kill, yeah, absolutely. And Silencer is going to deward. And you can see Chen up here. Di they did take the Dire tier, t tier 1 at bottom. Oh, and this is going to be a kill on yep. Bounty Hunter, yeah. Got him troll rooted right next to that Sentry Ward, and there was not much that he could do. Yep, troll root, the Ursa clap, and then so a magic well. missile comes in, and yep, dead bounty hunter. Guess what's happening. Luna got the kill too. Looks like Beastmaster's gonna die too to these you dots. Oh. Yep, goes down. I was just gonna say Beastmaster's been doing really well about keeping the battle hunger harassed. I said that earlier, and I still believe it, but mm -hmm. he's well, he taking two deaths now. Last worded as well, so he last worded. <coughs> so. Mm. You know. He was silenced, and Silencer was there, so there wasn't much that he could do. Yep. Kind of surprised to see him putting cur levels into Curse of the Silent now. Looks like a four-man gank going down on Darkseer. Are they going to be able to get him? He's got Surge ready. Uh, and if he surges, he should be... Oh, they're diving hard, and Bounty Hunter gets the kill with the Shuriken. Shadow Demon taking a lot of damage from that turret, though, but either way, that was completely worth it. Hmm. I mean, Still granted, a bottle from our bounty hunter, and he's been roaming a lot. I'm not sure why he just. Oh, life stealer's gonna go down. And that's a mistake. That's a big mistake. I mean, Venge just yeah. magic missiled, and then Beastmaster came in and cleaned it up pretty much. Set of axes and one auto attack, and the life stealer went down. Mhm. Mm and there's still this DD da DD rune sitting down bottom. Hmm. 
Yep. And Luna's going mid. Luna's really aggressive. She's all the way up on the enemy high ground at mid. Oh, wow, she is. And it looks like Bounty Hunter's going for her, but he, I don't think he has the No, he doesn't have the damage. He need, they needed somebody else there. And there he goes. <clears> he picks up the bottle, and it's in his stash. Hmm. I was wondering why he didn't have that. Obviously, yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm personally not a Bounty Hunter player. I, I will be the first one to admit it. I, I do like playing the offlane, but I don't play Bounty Hunter, which is kind of funny, considering yeah. how popular of a offlaner he has been. He's so powerful. Um, he just gives so much utility with that track and so much damage with the shuriken. And the thing I'm really happy about seeing is I see so many Bounty Hunters playing them wrong, where they just get where they get six and then they're not roaming. They're still just farming up for something, and it's like... Mm -hmm. You have to be on the move. You have to be getting track kills and creating space for your team. Because if you're not creating space, then what are you doing? <clears throat> Absolutely. Um, that's why I like to get the... Almost every, it's standard to get the bottle. Because the power for, from Bounty Hunter comes with the roaming. Mm -hmm. And inherently with roaming, you're going to be picking up uh, runes. Also, he doesn't have that big of a mana pool. So two or three ganks. Oh, as he dives Luna and doesn't quite finish her off. Oh, uh, Luna survives with less than 10 health. Mm -hmm. That's really unfortunate for BH because he also, like, Luna didn't have her ultimate or anything. You know what I mean? So that was a perfect opportunity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we have another pause here. But Bounty Hunter's power comes from that ganking, you know what I mean? But he doesn't quite have the mana pool to do many ganks. So, like, you really need the bottle to help yourself sustain yep. your and presence on the map. That makes entirely that entirely makes sense. It's cute. It's also it's interesting to see the uh, aura stacking here. They have a satyr, they have the ursa, and they have or they have the satyr, the venge, who has three points actually into our aura. So they really want to be pushing quickly. Beastmaster has two into his. So that's just a lot of damage and all. It looks like a team fight's about to happen. This is four v three in favor of the dire. Yeah, and disruption. disruption. Beastmaster gets the. Th Gets hit with the roar, or Beastmaster gives out the roar on the Shadow Demon. It's interesting to see that. Oh, look at the damage though. Life Stealer is getting a lot, of, getting hit a lot, and Life Stealer goes down. The Chen gets the life, Life Stealer pretty much. Oh, and Luna comes in late, and she gets the Silencer. And she's got her ulti. She could be popping this. I'm surprised. Oh, so close. She, if she pops the ulti right now. Oh, another pause. Okay. <laughs> door, doorbell right in the middle of the phone uh, of the fight. <laughs> right, I can't. Uh, casting the parts in these games is so hard for me because like I get actually like excited for the game. You know what I mean? I'm just like want to watch. Yeah, I I know exactly what you mean. I'm. Like, is she gonna make it? Is she gonna get him? <laughs> but yeah, I, he's one loose and beam away. Um, I know that she doesn't want to drop her ultimate because Bounty Hunter can just a cloak and Axe is just, just barely out of range, you know. Mm. Um, but I think Axe is actually going to make it out of here, which is unfortunate. <laughs> they do have, she has four points into her aura, and so you can see, again, this aura stacking. Venge has four points at hers now. And they're just basically five-manning this up. Beastmaster coming up top as well, so they're going to have a big team fight here. 30 seconds yep. left on his ult cooldown. <clears throat> And this is a really interesting strategy from him, I have to say. You've got, I mean... It's really powerful with the Chin army of creeps. Yeah, I mean, you get that, and Chen's got the buckler. He's already got up the ring of Basilius, so he's... They've basically got all the pushing power they need. Oh, and Silence are caught out, and he's going to go down. He does, he goes down to the Beastmaster, and that's just... Hint. You know what I mean? <clears throat> More in favor. Yep. Right now, the experience graph is 5,000 experience. Uh, check this out. This is cute. The life stealer has infested the bounty hunter, so you've got a life, uh, a bounty bomb. Oh, and yeah, there it goes. And there's a. And they get Vincent Spirit almost right off the bat. Oh, and look at the damage on the life stealer though on the counter kill, and they're gonna get two. They get two for that, including the life stealer, which is not what, what you want. For two carries, was it worth it? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> I mean, granted, the bounty hunter doesn't really have to worry about. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. And Axe goes down too. Beastmaster. Go get this tier two. Yep. Beastmaster cuts through the trees with his with his axes. 
I, I love this. The hawk, the hawk giving gives great vision. So good use of that. This is a really well executed f team. I, I have to say, I give credit to that to uh, Ice Cubed on this. This is really well played by them. This has been really well done. Um, I really <coughs> like the strategy that I. Not only do I like the strategy, I like that they planned the strategy with the auras and then they executed the strategy almost to a T. You know what I mean? Yep. They've got a tier two and now they're rotating mid to get another tier two. They've got all the tier ones taken care of and they're just systematically going through the game and just maintaining that lead and ever so slightly increasing it. Mm -hmm. Bounty Hunter getting a little too aggressive. Any kind of detection right now and he would have been dead. <clears throat> that would be unfortunate for them because they are already behind. Any yeah. Other I, I mean, like. just taking a look at gold. Gold's over 7,500. Experience is also over 7,500. So they've got a big lead. They don't even have one tower down right now. And I they've taken the five now. <clears throat> yeah, I... This game was pretty even for a while there, and then in the past, like, six minutes, they've gotten two towers and, like, eight kills. And, yep. You know, Five-man team fight is dead. just so strong right now. Just with... Oh, Ooh. Silencer gets caught out, and he's going to die. Courier with the bracer recipe on it, but he doesn't quite get it. Silencer almost went down if, at the team fight in mid. He got caught out by the net. Bounty Hunter's way separated from his team. Yeah, he was chasing that Courier. Mm. But the Radiant's rolling up on this high ground, and Bounty Hunter comes in from behind, tracks Adventure Spirit, the ultimate from Silencer going down on all of them, and they just back up. Yeah, I mean, that's the right idea. Oh. I agree. Battle hunger on two of them. Uh, I'm surprised to see no sentry wards on the radiant side. Nothing. No sentry wards down at all. Me too. Absolutely. Oh. There's oh, and look at the burst on this on, on the life stealer. Yeah. Life stealer went open wounds and didn't even get time to get off the rage before he was roared and focused. Nope. And they're gonna get the tier three on this. Their the dire team just cannot fight this lineup right now. <coughs> this meat grinder of a team right here. Yeah, I mean, Beastmaster, still only two into his aura, but, I mean, it's still so much damage. The Silencer goes down as well. Look, this I mean, just the pure player. burst. Pushing before Axe has the ability to initiate, and no one else on the dire team can initiate. You know, Axe needs Blink and a Blade Mail to even fight this, you know what I mean? Oh, man, that... <laughs> And, and GG's called. I mean, that's a 16-minute GG. That's uh, wow. That was just an, a tra a train wreck. Or if you're the Dire team, you you just got rolled. But man, that was so much damage coming out of them that there's not a whole lot they could have done. And I feel so as if the mid silencer and support anything but axe would have been a lot better in this game. Yeah, I mean. It, it's still tough to say. I would have rather had seen the silencer mid against somebody. Mm -hmm. But it, it's tough to look back on it now and say exactly what would have been ideal. Well, of course. I mean, hindsight's always twenty twenty. But, man, exactly. that that was just quite the thrashing. I mean, and when you give away a Chen and you don't punish it, you're always in trouble. Mm -hmm. uh, not only do you not punish it, but you feed it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he did. He, the Chen played really well. Gave him two or three really early ganks, and then all those towers. Let's not beat around the bush. Like that was his creep army pushing them. You know what I mean? Hmm. <laughs> and now they're just finishing this game up. Life sealer, never <laughs> give up, never surrender. Yeah, you know the whole uh, foul, the traditional foul and diving at the end of the game. It's it's the necessary. It's necessary. Can't have a game without it. Nope. All right. But anyway, th I, that was an exciting game, all things considered, dis despite the uh, run over stomp in the second game there. It was just... It was on, It was a really interesting strategy. Um, I feel as if it's very early to mid-game mm. with all those auras, you know what I mean, that don't scale quite as well into the late game. Maybe if they had a Drow Ranger, it would scale. Into the late game, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like Draw Ranger. Yeah, Draw Ranger comes into the pool. You get the Draw Ranger aura on top of it all. Yep. Oh my goodness. But I mean, <laughs> it was really well executed, and I can't give Ice Cubed enough credit on it. So good games all around, and 
We should be seeing the ancient blow up anytime now. Yeah. As I mentioned before, the stream was twitch.tv slash loopingkonnu, L-O-U-P-I-N-C-O-N-N-U. It'll have a link to my YouTube where you can watch all the VODs. So hopefully you guys will check that out. So good games. Thank you for casting with me, Jihad. I really appreciated it. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thanks for having me. All right, and we will see you all next week. Although I will stick around for a little bit and see if there's another game going on. Maybe I'll cast that since this one was so short. But we will see, and I will see you all later.